What's going on everyone, it's Rifle here and thanks for checking out this State of Decay 2 video. In this one I'm going to be saving you guys a ton of time if you didn't know about this method to level up your characters. I'm telling you, this is extremely fast. If you guys could maybe take a little bit of your time and leave a simple like on the video, that'd be greatly appreciated. And hey, if you haven't, maybe subscribe and stick around for more helpful content like this over State of Decay 2. Anyways, let's get into this. First off, I'm sure a lot of you already know about this way, but in case you don't, I'm going to throw it out there. In Drucker County, you can actually get this drive-in theater, aka the castle, that's what I like to call it since there's castle walls surrounding this theater. And at this place though, if you have power running, you can actually watch training videos to level up your character. As you can see, all my characters are freaking maxed because of this. Some of you are probably wondering, wait, what? Watch training videos? Yeah, you have this option, as you can see here, to watch training videos. And the awesome thing about this is, once you select it, and there's a waiting time for it, you don't have to stay in your base. You can just go around playing the game normally, except once the time is up, you're going to get a huge boost of experience to all of your skills on the character that you're playing with. Extremely freaking handy, guys. Anyways, yeah, that's one way. In case you're not in Drucker County though, and you're not able to get this drive-in theater, and you want to watch these training videos to level up your characters really fast, there's another way. It's going to require you to have a sheriff leader for your community though. I spotted a blower. Anyways, I now have this sheriff leadership. As you can see down below, it is unlocked. Now what you're gonna need is a large slot available. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this auto shop. So once you have a large slot available, you then want to build a lounge. Oh, well dag on it, <laughs> I can't build a lounge in this drive-in theater, so I'm going to go ahead and switch it up. After all, I was pretty much staying in this area to show this off to you guys, to show floor. that you can level all skills on whoever you're being. It's pretty freaking handy. I'm going to go ahead and find another base though. Oh, well this is an adventure. Okie dokie. I'm going to go ahead and go here for a base. Don't have enough survivors for the strip mall in this location, so why not? Yeah, that's all of them. Now. Sweet. 16 total slots. Anyways, yeah, totally understandable if you are in Drucker County and you just don't want to get that drive-in theater. There is a way where you can level up all your characters extremely fast, passively, by building a lounge as a sheriff leader. We're going to have to upgrade it until it's level 3 though, so it's going to take a little while, but we're going to do it. Alright, now i got to upgrade again, lounge 3. As you can see, to upgrade to lounge 3 now, you're going to have to be a sheriff leader. But yeah, let's go ahead and do that, and I'll show you guys how this works. It's just like the drive-in theater, except now you can you know, place this anywhere you want. The bad thing is, it does take up a large slot. But the thing is, this comes with quite a bit of beds as well. So even if you was using a barracks at a large slot, this still gives you quite a bit of beds. Alright, so Lounge 3 is officially here. Check it out, this is what it looks like. As you can see, it has a little cinema built into Lounge 3. A little chill area, some candy in the bowl and whatnot, you know. You know. This is a pretty sweet looking lounge for Apocalypse. Anyways, since I gave a little bit of the tour, but check it out, Lounge Street. We can watch training videos. And we're not at the drive-in theater. Pretty sweet. And while you're sitting here, you know, having that going, you can go out and about and do your regular thing, and you'll be slowly upgrading your character. Speaking of, it works with whatever character you are being on. And I just got this character right here. So, I'll go ahead and take control of him. He'll be a good demonstration. Okay. Now, while that's playing, I'm going to go ahead and go out and take on some things. Why not? Okay, training videos are almost done. My buddy's driving the vehicle back up. And we're just out and about doing a regular looting mission. Bam! Plumbing max level, fighting leveled up, shooting leveled up, wits leveled up, cardio leveled up. You see what I'm saying, guys? This thing is beast. 
If you have the Sheriff Leader, definitely use this if you're needing to level up your characters, of course. But uh, yeah, that's about wrapping up this video. Hopefully it ends up being helpful to you guys. If you want, maybe share this around to other people that you know that play State of Decay 2, because I'm sure it'll help them out as well. But that, of course, is totally up to you. I'm out of here, though. Thanks for taking the time to watch and listen. Peace.